Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about job sequencing with the deadline. First of all, what is the concept? They are given n number of jobs. Each job have some profit to PI and a deadline DI. Now our aim is we have to execute the jobs within their deadline such that to get maximum profit to get the maximum profit this is the concept of job sequencing with deadline now first i am explaining an algorithm after that we will move to an example before explaining the algorithm you have to know some important points and the main important point is each job requires only one unit of time only one unit of time for their completion for example consider one example based on this example we will move to the algorithm assume we have four jobs n is equal to four p1 p2 p3 p4 these are the profits of the four jobs assume the profits are some hundred some ninety 120 and some 170 whatever it is assume these are the profits and coming to deadlines d1 d2 d3 d4 these are the deadlines assume the deadlines are suppose 2 some 3 1 2 whatever it is assume these are the deadlines now what is your aim you need to execute as many jobs as possible within their deadline here observe deadline 2 means it has a maximum of 2 slots deadline 3 means maximum of 3 slots deadline 1 means only one possible option deadline 2 means it have possible of 2 options that means 2 is represented as 0 to 1 1 to 2 a job is executed in only one unit that is only one slot it is executed in this slot or in this slot now 3 is executed either 0 1 1 2 2 3 it has three possible options now only one option 2 has only one option now we understand the point a job is executed in only one slot this is the maximum deadline for the given job. Now, one more important point is, if a job is executed in one slot, no other job is allowed to execute on the same slot. For example, under slot 01, if job 1 is executed, now 01 is completed, no other job is executed to run on the same slot. You got the point? Now, we are moving to algorithm then you will understand algorithm job sequencing with the deadline is a greedy approach assume my algorithm name is greedy job of n here n specifies the number of jobs i have some assumptions each and every job consists of a profit p1 to n Specify the profits of N jobs. D1 to N. Specifies the deadlines of N job. And in greedy approach, we have one property for the algorithm. Whenever they are given a question, directly not consider the first job, second job, third job, fourth job. First, arrange the jobs in ascending order of their profits. Sorry. Arrange the jobs in descending order of their profits. That means, first we are considering the job with the highest profit. Next to highest to profit. Next to highest to profit, so on, so on. That means, among these four jobs, first which one is ready for execution? 
which job has the highest profit so this 170 this is the first executable job this is the second executing job this is the third one this is the fourth one so what is our first step arrange all the jobs according to their profits in descending order now here i am using a variable profit initially value is equal to zero that means no job is executed now count is a variable initially that value is zero count to specify how many number of jobs are executed up to now now from this you are getting one point what is this one among this here deadline is 2 deadline is 3 deadline is 1 deadline is 2 what is the maximum deadline 3 so that means maximum we have 3 slots that means only 3 jobs are executed you got the point so whatever the maximum deadline only that many maximum that many jobs are executed okay so for that first step is i am using a variable d max is equal to zero first step what is my first step calculate the maximum deadline calculate the maximum deadline simply for i is equal to one two and two repeat the loop here i am checking the condition so i think everyone know that one how to calculate the maximum value from a set of elements, the same procedure. What is the procedure? First to D of I, deadline of first job. What is the deadline of first job? 2. 2 greater than 0. Now, my maximum deadline is updated to 2. In the next iteration, consider the second job. 3 greater than 2. Again updated, maximum is equal to 2. 1 greater than 3 condition fail 2 greater than 3 condition fail and once we comes out of the loop my first step is completed what is my first step the maximum deadline why i am calculating because maximum deadline specifies the maximum number of jobs for execution so here i am repeating one more loop for i is equal to 1 2 and 2 use another array slot slot not n maximum deadline slot of i is equal to minus 1 here what is my intention slot specify this is one slot this is another slot this is another slot so 1 to d max that means maximum value means 3 we have a maximum of 3 slots we have Maximum of 3 slots available. Initially, slot 1 is empty. Slot 2 is empty. Slot 3 is empty. Initially, all the slots are empty. Fine. Now, coming to the program. Step by step. First step. What is the first step? For i is equal to 1, 2, n, do. Now, so, repeat for n number of jobs. Generally, understand the logic. For example, first this job is executed, right? This job is executed. It has two possible options, slot 1 and slot 2. Which one you prefer? Suppose, if you prefer slot 1, if I prefer slot 1, then yes, this one is executed. If I prefer slot 1 and this job is not executed, why? This job has the only possible option slot 1. Then if I am executed this one, it has a better. Generally, among all the possible slots, so first to execute the worst case. That means last slot. Why? We are given chance to some other jobs. That is the reason for, I am repeating a loop. Assume a variable R. Assume a variable R, R is equal to D of I. So, first example, R is equal to, what is R is equal to? This is my first job. So, R is equal to D of I, that is R is equal to 2, down to 1, step minus 1. That is decrementing, that is 
decrementing the values. So, first time R is equal to 2. Okay. Now, what is your step? Check whether that particular slot is free or empty. Now, check some condition. If slot of, what is R value? 2. So, if slot of 2 is equal to minus 1. Slot of 2 is equal to minus 1 means that slot is empty. If the slot is empty means that job is placed. So, if the condition is true, what I am doing? Simply, slot of R that is at the slot 2, I am placing that particular job I and my profit is added. Profit is equal to profit plus P of I, that particular job profit is added, count plus plus, one job is executed, next, very very important thing, is any need to check the remaining slot, no, once this slot is executed means, no need to check the slot 1, so we comes out of this for loop, how do we comes out of the for loop, break, close this if, close this for, now understand carefully, in the first step, this is completed. Now, slot 2 is booked. In the next iteration, i is equal to 2. Second job. What is the second job? This one is the second job. R is equal to 1. It has only one deadline. R is equal to 1. Now, here not to slot of 2. Slot of R. So, slot of 1 is empty or not? Yes. Slot of 1 is empty. Now, slot of 1 is equal to that particular job. Profit is added and comes out. That is, job 1 is executed under this slot. Job 2 is executed under this slot. Now, understand carefully. Coming to the next iteration. I is equal to 3. What is my third job? 100 is my third job. Yes. What is the deadline 2? R is equal to 2. R is equal to 2. If slot of 2 is empty or not? No. Already slot of 2 is executed by job 1. If condition fail. If condition fail. Now, R is equal to, next time, first time 2. R is equal to 1. If slot of 1 is equal to empty. Empty or not? No. Already slot of 1 is filled by this one. Again, execute or the condition fail once we comes out of this condition that is move to next job so my next job is this one now what is the slot r is equal to 3 the slot is free if the slot is free execute so here the loop is for n to n jobs here what i am doing after completion of this for loop here i am checking one condition if count is equal to equal to maximum. Why? Here count to specify how many number of jobs are maximum executed. Dmax also specify the maximum deadline. So maximum deadline means maximum possible executable jobs. If both are equal means simply break close. That means whenever the maximum deadline is reached, no need to repeat all the jobs. As I know that my maximum deadline is 3. What is the need for checking the fourth job? Simplify the process. This is the concept. This is the concept of job sequencing with deadlines. Thank you very much.